At the Texas Youth and Young Adult Department, we have a simple mission statement, and that is to make ministers for the master. You see, it's our desire, right Armando? Yes. To see every single young person in the Texas Conference actively involved in a ministry at their local church and or local community. Our goals are revival, retention, and outreach. For the last few years, club ministries have helped us to achieve these goals. Empower training for club ministries has really helped our youth and young adult volunteers in this area. We train them so they can be better in ministry. Not only that, our camperies have been a great success. Remember Pathfinder Adventure yes. uh, in Master Guide Campery? Yes, you I had did. the privilege of speaking one, uh, in yes, one I of did. them. And it was a great experience. Our young people and our volunteers get to spend time in Lake Minot Ranch where they can actually learn to work together, endure some things, and also deepen the relationship with God. Mm. I know that you have been looking for it. I've been looking for it. Forever Faithful International Camporee. It happens every five years. And you know, the Texas Conference is taking the biggest delegation of Pathfinders to Oshkosh. Go Texas. It is one out of <laughs> 10 people in Oshkosh is a Texan. I am so excited to tell you about summer camp at Lake Whitney Ranch. You know, Armando, this is our second year there. Second year. Second year making ministers for the master and seeing kids come to Jesus. You know, what I enjoyed so much this summer is seeing over 400 young people go through those brand new lodges. The highlight of this summer was seeing 40 young people get baptized. Yes. Uh, one young person stands out of my mind. He came from the Valley, Armando. Yes. And he was sponsored by a family. Apparently, he lived a life of living in the gangs before. But when he got baptized, I saw his life completely change before our eyes as he made a commitment to follow Jesus for the rest of his life. Amen. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was being out in nature. Maybe it was uh, being around godly counselors. Whatever it was, it impacted his life. And there at Lake Whitney Ranch, he made a decision for Jesus. You know, when we think of summer camp, we think about campers coming to Jesus. Yes. But summer camp is also about the staff. During those six weeks that we're at camp, Armando, these staff become ministers for the master. Another way of making ministers for the master is through Campus Catalyst, or Adventist Christian Fellowship. Last year, remember Gary, we had a, a training in Texas A&M University, and over 120 young adult students from local public universities came to Texas A&M to receive training and to come together. Um, this, this is a place where they learn how to be more effective leaders in their local public university campus and to be witnesses for Jesus Christ. Amen. One of the most effective ways to make ministers for the master is to allow our young people a chance to go on a mission trip. Yes. Mission trips are great opportunities for them to use their gifts and skills and their compassion for others. Every year we do a mission trip to Guatemala and throughout Texas there are all kinds of mission trips that our young people can be involved in. We encourage everybody to be part of those mission trips. And it's our desire that every young person in the Texas Conference is trained on how to live out and also share out the message of the Three Angels message which is why we've started a brand new school of evangelism called SENT. It stands for School of Evangelism in Texas. And we want to encourage our young people to learn practical ways to give Bible studies, to hold meetings, to use technology to reach the harvest. In 2014, it was held in uh, the conference office in Alvarado, Texas. In 2015, where is it going to be held? It'll be held at the Scenic Hill 7th Avenue Church in San Antonio. Through our web and social media platforms, we're providing all the information awesome. that our youth and young adults and volunteers need to stay connected. Excellent. Not only that, you can visit us at youngtexasadventist.org or follow us on Facebook. One of the things that we're the most excited about is the Texas Youth Resources. Mm -hmm. Remember, Gary, when we gathered with a group of youth pastors um, and we decided to work together. Yes. We want to create resources, Bible study guides, programs for AY, anything related to young youth and young adults. Excellent. And we're excited about it. Soon you will see more material coming out from others. You know, Armando, it's almost impossible for anybody to think that you and I could cover this entire Texas conference by too ourselves. Big, too big. And we couldn't do it without a group of other young men and women. Yes. We call them our area youth and young adult directors. Yes. And these men and women oversee areas throughout Texas making sure that ministries are happening for youth and young adults, even outside of club ministry. How many events are they uh, asked to put, you know, to plan? It's a really good question. Each of these area youth directors get together with all the youth and young adult directors in their area, and they plan one event for youth and one event for young adults. Good. Armando, we could not do this job 
if it were not for all the people who step up to help out. That's true. Not just our area youth and young adult directors, but also our club ministries directors and leaders. And so we want to thank each of them for making it possible for us to make ministers for the master.